This is a screencast on, uh, for an example of the Weierstrass M-test. The Weierstrass M-test says that if you have a, a sequence of functions such that each one is bounded by its indiv own individual bound, um, then if the bound, sum of the bounds converge, then the sum of the functions converge uniformly on A. And the key thing here is that what this theorem says and why it's so cool is that these are just a sequence of numbers as in chapter 2. Whereas this is a sequence of functions, which is hard. So basically, this allows you, as long as you have the bounds, to only check to see if a sequence of numbers or a series of numbers converges and not the sequence, sorry, series of functions. So we'd rather work with numbers and functions. So that's what we do. And here's an example. Does 1 over n squared times sine nx converge on, on, on R? Well, the answer is yes by the Weierstrass M test. M is for magnificent. Okay, so so proof um, uh, one over f sub n maybe I'll say of x is equal to one over n squared sine of n x. Oh, but remember sine is always less than or equal to one. So this is less than or equal to one over n squared, which I can set equal to my m sub n. Then the Weierstrass M test says I just need to add up all these and see if that converges. Then the sum of the M sub n's, which is 1 over n squared, converges by the P test. So since we know that this converges, I know that 1 over n squared times sine nx converges by, I love saying this, I love writing this, the Weierstrass M test. So this is just a simple example, but notice I use very basic results to prove it, and the Weierstrass M test. I just need to prove that 1 over n squared converges, which is a much, much easier question than this function here. So it doesn't say what this converges to, but I know it converges by the Weierstrass M test, and better yet, it actually doesn't just converge, it converges uniformly. So that's an example of how to use the Weierstrass M test.